second, but early on, Reggie Sanders, the center fielder, gets two cracks That's at it. Nice there. gather right there. Bottom of the fourth, Jose Arrieta. Oh, sends it into Chipper Jones, who turns it around in fine fashion. Two-run poke. And then, right after him, next batter, Fred McGriff. Guess what? Not coming back. 440. 3 nothing Atlanta. Greg Maddox left in the eighth. Brad Klons right here. One strike from a save. Instead, Ed Taubensee drops it in. Lenny Harris comes on in. We're tied at four. We go to the top of the 11th. Bobby Cox, wow. What can he do out of the bullpen? Then, oops, Steve Bedrosian hangs a slider. And Ron Gant, who was released before last season by the Braves, comes home. His fifth home run for the Reds this year. He's completely healthy. That uh, broken leg uh, see, looks like it's fine. Maddox's longest outing of the season. He went seven and two-thirds innings, eight hits, eight strikeouts, no walks. Bobby Cox booed twice in Maddox. First couple of guys on. He's going to go gap. Right center. Ball's rolling. Phillies are running around 2 nothing. Bottom of the fifth, 4-1 Phillies. Kurt Schilling, two words for Jeff Bagwell. Get out. Top of the seventh, 4-1 Phillies. Greg Jeffries likes what he sees. Takes the curve, goes right down the line. And Len Dykstra, I want to tell you, got in quickly, didn't he? He's already in the dugout. He can really move. It was giveaway night at the Astrodome. Giveaway night at the Astrodome. More than 54,000 fans took the free tickets. Expos. A couple of batters later, Mike Lansing. Guess what? Two guys on. That is deep into the New York evening. That's it for Hockamy. 7 to 3 Expos lead. Later in the seventh, very ugly play. Watch the Mets throw the ball all over the place. This is Carl Everett. He's up and throwing to second, but the ball goes up the line. And here comes Will Cordero. And look at the young here. Out of there. Expos win it. Jeff Acero becomes the National League's first four-game winner. Switch hitting Bobby Bonilla homered from both sides. Baltimore O's fans, they'll do anything to get on TV. Look at that. Look at that. Make total fools themselves sometimes. But hey, it was good fun, wasn't it? Jim Tomey goes the other way, the solo home run. Just kidding, guys. Tribe of 3-1. We go to the bottom of the seventh. Brady Anderson sending one off Dennis Martinez's leg. But look at Martinez. The quick action. Who says he's almost 40 years old? Looks like a 20-year-old out there, doesn't he? Omar Vizquel, the bare hand pick up and the throw to get the out. Top of the eighth, Kenny Lofton to center. Damon Buford, the diving catch, but it was not enough offense for the O's as Cleveland gets their fifth straight win. Martinez now 3-0 versus his old team. Get the Orioles down, and chances are you'll get the win. Baltimore is first of a big weekend series in the Emerald City. Edgar Martinez, two-run rocket to right field. First inning, Mariners up 3-0. Then Randy Johnson in complete control. Looking in at Robin Ventura. This is a complete mismatch. High heat and get out. Then Ron Karkavice. Oh, looking for the call inside. It's the old punch out. And then after Edgar Martinez, how about Tino Martinez? Solo Jack, 6-1 M's. His second of the year. They do hold on. White Sox come on a little bit, but not enough. Tim Raines, though, does tie American League record by stealing his 32nd straight base without being caught. Randy Johnson, 11 strikeouts in seven innings. The White Sox, before the game, signed free agent John Kruk. He should have. Looking for his first major league decision, and this, an error. Brian Jordan bringing home uh, two runs and a 2 nothing Cardinal lead in the top of the first. Tied at three in the fourth, Danny Jackson, and this was really an ugly game, folks. Seven errors in the first four innings alone. Here's two on this play as Delano DeShields will score. 4-3 L.A. Raul Mondesi, bottom of the sixth, unloading. The two-run home run, the Dodgers go on to win, but, you know, tough luck for uh, Hideo Nomo. Four hitless innings. He, had to, he left the game with the lead intact, but he doesn't get the decision since he did not go the uh, recommended five innings. A lot of errors in this one, 12 in all combined by both teams. Pirates and Giants, a candlestick. The Giants up 2-0 on a Matt Williams home run. In the third, Mike Portugal in a jam, bases loaded. And Orlando Merced puts the ball right back up the middle. One run comes home, and Merced reaches safely as well. The infield hit. Portugal in trouble again in the fifth inning. He was in trouble all night long. The Bucks, two Bucks on, score tied at two, and Jeff King sending one out of the yard. The three-run homer to end a three-game losing streak. Pirates go on to win 9-4. to four. Jeff King, the home run. He had four runs batted in and all as the Giants get reaches four. Williams had two homers. He now has eight on the season and he was four for four in a losing cause for San Francisco. Expansion fest in Miami. The Marlins hosting Colorado and a wet night for the Marlins. They got splashed all the way around. Top of the fifth inning. Rockies already up 
by a four zip count when Vinny Castillo sends one over the left center field scoreboard. Good for two runs, six nothing. The Marlins come back to make it a game, seven six for Larry Walker to blast a solo home run to put him two ahead. His fourth long uh, ball in five games for Walker. Castilla, six RBIs in all as the Rockets win their fourth in a row. As for Florida, they now have dropped six straight. They're still winless at home in eight tries, and overall the Marlins have won just